cooling tower circuit. First, the circuit focuses on the cooling tower to the chiller. Supply of chilled water goes from the cooling tower to the condenser, and from the condenser the warm water goes up to the cooling tower. Electric chiller circuit, the warm water comes from the building to the primary water pump, goes into the chiller, gets chilled, and then gets supplied through the secondary water pump to the ETS. Building circuit, the chilled water goes through the ETS into the building reaches the air handling unit for the energy transfer to the circulating air, and then the warm water comes back down to the ETS. Thermal energy storage, charging cycle, the charging cycle happens at night to leverage the time tariffs. The TES tank is charged using the chillers, then to the TES tank where the warm water comes from the top and back into the chiller. Thermal energy storage, discharging cycle, this happens during the day when there are peak surcharges on the electricity tariffs. The chilled water from the TES tank goes into the building and the warm water from the building comes back into the TES tank. Stay tuned for more.